A work-free Christmas Eve in exchange for three trade Sundays. This is what parliamentarians have decided. How will this affect the Polish economy? And is it a prelude to a plan to free trade on Sundays? Christmas Eve should be a time off from work. It should be family time, so that everyone has time to get to their families and spend time with them. People can be overworked as they work all week, seven days a week. There should be time off. Christmas Eve is supposed to be off work, but only the one next year. In exchange, the three trade Sundays before Christmas Eve will be working days. This is what the parliament has decided. The vote was preceded by a heated debate. That Poles, millions of Poles should be able to prepare Christmas Eve with dignity. Dear colleagues, we introduced off-work Sundays. Let's introduce off-work Christmas Eve. Please support the trade workers who work hard and are observing today how you will vote for this amendment to the law. This year, the Civic Coalition gifted Poles with another working Christmas Eve. Among other things, the Parliament rejected amendments by Law and Justice and the left to make December 24th a day off starting this year. On Christmas Eve, tradition says that even animals speak with a human voice, and you refuse to do so, and you denied the Poles the good changes that resulted from these amendments. You will have to wait another year for a free Christmas Eve, but it will cost you dearly. Instead of having to work on Christmas Eve until 1 p.m., you will have to work throughout the three Sundays in December. According to experts, there was a lack of reflection and a systemic approach to the issue. There was not even a consultation. When enacting such an additional Sunday, even employers talked about the fact that they, in principle, while not even agreeing with the ban, talked about the fact that they were willing to give some compensation to employees. Here, however, we have just a simple decision, another Sunday and no compensation for employees. Is this the beginning of a gradual phase-out of the Sunday trading ban? Richard Petru reported a desire to open stores on all first Sundays of each month. This is a debate about what kind of country Poland should be, whether a country of freedom, of a secular state, a country of trust, economic growth and prosperity, or a country of prohibitions, punishments. There is more money to be made for Poles on Sundays. Ladies and gentlemen, they want to send hundreds of thousands of ordinary, normal people to work. These people, instead of enjoying a moment of respite and rest on this one day on Sunday, will simply have to go to work. Very often these are women, and yet these are the formations that talk about women's rights. So where are these women's rights, mothers' rights, wives' rights? These are very often women who work hard in the warehouse. These are not just cashiers who also have a very hard job, but they are often single mothers and have no one to leave these children with. The bill will now be taken up by the Senate. Serious doubts have been raised about the bill's introduction of an additional working Sunday, or a total of three next December. And there are many indications that the government may still surprise us by then.